Hi, Valley Twos. Uh, it's Miss Sarah again, and I have another class for you today. If you do the Zoom classes, this can be an additional class for you during the week to do. And especially if you don't do the Zoom classes, do this class a few times during the week. And especially if you don't have time to do the whole thing, do a bar, and then you can do the whole thing another day. So we stay nice and strong. Okay, I have my flashcards again today so we can remember our uh, spelling of our French words. And especially if you do this class a few times, it'll help you memorize the exercises. On our Zoom class, we have our demonstrator uh, who demonstrates while you're doing the exercise so I can really look at you closely, which is really nice. Um, but we don't always have to look at the demonstrator. So try to um, get them in your head, get the exercises in your head as soon as you can, because it'll help with auditions, not proper auditions, and learning choreography for any shows that you're in. So that's really helpful to just try to get the combinations really fast. Okay, let's start, let's dance. Please. Okay, here's the spelling once again. Plie. Okay, I'm going to say it so we can get it into our head. Two demi plies, one grand plie and balance in first position. Remember, arms right by our belly button. Sometimes there's too high still, so we get to have them right by our belly button. Hold your basket. Okay, two demi plies, one grand plie in second. Okay, balance in second. Nice arms. I'm still correcting a lot of arms. We're going to do some strengthening exercises to keep them nice and lifted. Remember, the ball can go down. We don't want it to get stuck. Yeah, nice strong arms. Two demi plies, one grand plie, balance. First, second, fifth position. Okay, all right, we're going to have some music from Broadway shows. Uh, you probably won't know all of them, but some will be familiar. And yeah, it's just fun music. Okay, find your bar. Okay, we're going to do one hand on the bar. Okay, I'll talk you through the first time, and I'll try not to talk too much on the other side. So you can count inside your head and tell yourself what's coming next. Okay, let's get our first position. Hand on the bar, slightly in front of you, slightly bent. Arm to second position. And demi plie and squeeze. All the space out. Demi plie and squeeze. Reach those fingers. Grand plie. Heels down. Open the up. Balance. One, two, three. We're growing. Belly button in. Five. Lower the heels. Tendu. Two seconds. Check your arm. Demi plie. Stretch. Again. Allonge. Bottom stops at our knees. Arm through first and open. We balance. Feel your big toe on the floor as always. Five. Six. Tendu. Heel touches that big toe. Lean out and stretch. Out, out, out and stretch. Wrong. Plie. Heels down and stretch. Squeeze those feet together. Balance. Two, two. Let's round you back to first position. We're going to roll through. Plie. Heels high. Keep them there. And stretch. Let's balance. Belly button into our back. Arms up to fifth. And open. Stay up there. Circle on to your outward circle. The allonge reach. And we plie. And finish. Stay there. Okay, let's go to the other side. You'll still be able to see me a bit. One, two, second. Keep it there. And stretch. Demi, 
chest from the end. Five. Here's our balance. Count to me on. Six and seven. Sliding down your wall. Balance. Nice elbows lifted. All toes on the floor. Here we go. And stretch. single exercise, I'll leave it up to you to do your checklist, right? We'll go through it really fast. Ten toes on the floor in first, heels forward and together, knees stretched and pulled up. Remember our thighs turn out. It's like we're using our hands to do it. You gotta turn out those thighs. So your seam is, you could see your seam if you have a seam in your tights or the pants that you're wearing. Okay, All right, belly button in, those abdominals in, shoulders back and down, neck nice and long, chin parallel to the floor. Okay, tondu, tondu. We're going to start our tondu in first position. And as I always say, our heel goes first. So this is my foot. <laughs> my heel is going to push forward first. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that when we... Let me do it. Yeah. So we're going to, I'm going to say it, half, full, half, close. So we do our half tondu first. So we're not going to point our toes all the way at first. So you see my heel pushes forward, half. So we have that arch, right? I'll show you this way. You know, half point, tondu, half point, and toes come back, okay? Half and full and half. Toes come back. Make sure your pinky toe goes first because if it doesn't, then we're going to turn in. Okay? Same thing side. Half, full, half, close first. Half, lifted, full, half, close first. We've been doing our arms on deor, on the done. On deor. Yeah, we're opening. We're not going to do the full circle yet. Let's just do half of a circle. Five, six, seven, eight. It's still opening on day or open that door. From the back, half, full, half, and close. Side, half, and full, and half, and close. Push that heel forward. It stays high, half, and close. And reverse, on day down. Yeah, try it with me. Comes through first, all the way down and back out. So on day or opening up. First time, on the down, reversing. We'll do the full circle later. Okay? Say it to yourself really fast. Half full, half close. Front, side, back. Then reverse. Okay. Quick checklist all the way up. Arms slightly bent. On. Two seconds. Half point and time. Half. Close, get taller. Back, half, and taller. Half, 
and slide it. And back. And back. And back. On to your arm. Five, six, seven. From the back. Stay on our standing leg. Like Half. Pull. Half. And close to the side. Heel stays high. Heel pushes forward. Half. And pull. Half. And close. Arm reverses. On the top. Let's just do the arm. On the door. So squeezing those legs together. On the top. Another quick balance. Right in front of our belly button. Abdominals are squeezing in. And your finish. Other side, ready? Here we go. Heel pushes forward. And top. Half. Toes back. Down through first to second. From the back, knees stay straight. Up and close to the side. To the front. Up. Up. Reverse your arm on the top. So squeezing the space out in the tops of your legs and on the or on the top. Another balance. Make sure we into our next sit on the floor. Always try to get in the habit of finishing um, for two seconds, staying there, so so we don't come back to normal. Still have our ballet posture. Okay, fifth position tendus. We're going to do this en quoi. We know that means in the shape of a cross, front side, back side en quoi. This is the really hard spelling. French is very different. En quoi. That's how we say it. So we're going to do this front side, back side, in fifth position. Okay. We're going to do one slow tendu and two faster to the front. When we do it to the side, we do one slow, close back, then close it front, then close it back. So that means we get to switch every time to the side. We're doing three. Okay. We do three to the back, one slow, two fast. And then one slow, two fast to the side. I'll show it really fast. Get that combo in your head. Here you go. Out and in, 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 in. So to the side, we change. And our standing legs stay straight. So when we do Zoom classes and when I see you in person, we're not going to let our knee do anything. <laughs> okay? We can start that now. Yeah, we don't want our standing leg to go anywhere. We have to tell it to do more work, almost, than our working leg. They both get to work really, really hard. Okay? So we get to change to the side every time. To the back. Out and in. Faster, close. And a close. Side, out and in. And a close. And a close. Okay? One slow, two fast. En croix. All right, here we go, fifth position. Do your checklist. You feel all of those 10 toes really, really spread out. Okay, here we go. Do the same music. Arms to second. Out, 
in, and in, and in, to the side, and change, and change, big toe on the floor, and close, and an in, and an in, side out, and in, check your arm, back and lift it, and an in, and an in, Knees stay straight, close, and a close. One, two, and three, and four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Let's finish there. Okay. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Arms slightly in front of you on the bar. Out, in, and a close, and a close, side. Tommy fit, Tommy fit. Out, in, and a fit. And a good, keep counting, and a one, two, and three, and four, five, six, and ten, and eight. Nice and long. Great. So hopefully we feel our legs squeezing together when we come in that fifth. Yeah, we know what comes next in every belly class. Degage. And remember, we've been talking about the height of degage, not that far off the floor, one to two inches off the floor. And the biggest thing to the side, we know, since this is my leg, showing the inside of that heel. So that means it starts from the top of your thigh. Turn it out. Okay. All right. Here's our degage. I'll show you one more time. Degage. Okay. Going to be slightly faster music. Same combination. One slow, two fast. We're just doing degages this time. Okay. Right. We're going to do first position. First position. One slow, two fast degages. Out and in, and the first, and the first. En croix. Okay? One and two and three and four, five and six. Top of our thighs are squeezing. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. First time we're going to have our hand on our hip. Remember, with our thumb in the back, so we don't do this. <laughs> yeah, hips be nice and supported. Yeah, thumb in the back, fingers in the front. First time, hands on hips. Second time, arm in second. Here we go. Day to day. And in, and in. Keep it there. And close. And a squeeze. And a squeeze. And out. In, in, in. And the You can have your hand on your hip. That's what I said. <laughs> and out. Now, we can move into second position. Out and in. Close and close. And brush tape. And in, and in. Last time, elbow nice and lift. And close, and in, and in. Out, close, and squeeze, and squeeze. And finish. Nice to finish right with the music. Okay, other side, here we go. I won't talk as much. Yeah, and your hip. And seven, eight, you can count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, short. Arm to second, and 
can probably feel it a little bit. So if you're doing it right, then you're squeezing as much space out of the tops of your legs as you can. You can probably feel them already. And we're gonna feel them more when we do another Jiggy J facing the bar, okay? All right? We can have our hands slightly on the bar. Don't need to grip it. Yeah, we're going to do, we did this pattern before. We're just starting with four. Four to the right. They're all degage side. Four to the left. Two right, two left, one right, one left. Then we have a nice demi plie. One, two, three, four, left, two, three, four, right, two, left, two, one, one, demi plie. It will not be that fast. So do you one, two, three, four. Every time we close, we're squeezing those thighs. Okay? Okay. We don't have any time for our toes not to point. As soon as we come through that tandy position, it stays nice and pointed. Okay. Four, four, two, two, one, one, demi plie. Four, four, two, two, one, one, demi plie. And squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze, and switch. Really, really squeeze those thighs. Okay. This is the tempo. And in, and in. Okay? All right. Both hands in the bar. Um, I can show you like this. I can also do this. I'll have my pretend bar. Here we go. Fingertips on the bar. One, two, three, four, and now two, one, two, one, 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 demi plie, again, and four, three, two, one, on the ball of our foot, and two, one, plie, and squeeze, squeeze, try to stay in the first, one, two, then eventually we can do it a little faster. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Before we do our round de jambe, we've been doing some strengthening things for our arms. So let's do it. Follow along with me. We also get to do some slightly harder things to strengthen our arms after this. But we'll start with this. You can stand, but I'm going to show you here. Follow along with me. We're flapping. Flex your hands. You'll feel it more when you flex. Try to go with the tempo of the music and flex in your hands. And we circle. And circle backwards. And circle forwards. And flap. You can sing along if you want. We've seen Mary Poppins recently. And flat. Don't drop and keep going. And circle back. And circle front. This way we have nice supported arms. But we don't drop those elbows. Yeah. 
way. Let's swing them. Good. All right. Nice. Stretch the arm across. Scoop something out. And another arm. Hug it in. Scoop something out. We're going to quickly stretch our wrists. Palm out. Gently bring your fingers towards you. This is good with all the writing and typing that you're doing with schoolwork as well. Just stretch it out. Face your palm towards you. And other hand. And towards you. Okay. Let's do those front de jambes. We're going to do more strengthening and stretching a little later. Okay. We're going to continue with that half quarter bras, doing the on de or and on de jam. Okay. So two round de jambes on de or outward, and then two times with that arm coming opening on de or. Reverse. Two round de jambes backward. Then we get to reverse our arm two times. Okay. So this is why we did all of our tom dues. We have that same shape of our foot. Heel pushes forward. Heel still forward. Side of our big toe is on the floor. Two of those. And then our arm does that same pattern twice, opening on the door. When we come from the back, we do two of those on the jump. Arm. Comes on you don't remember, imagine your other arm is there so we don't cross it too much. Invisible line down the middle of your body. Okay. Ron. Dijon. Circle of our leg, round of our leg. Okay. Here we go. First position. to four, two, three, four, Back. 
back to that position later, the wrapped position, and I'll tell you exactly what it means and what it looks like written down. I'm going to do an arabesque really fast. Now this does not need to be high. We're going to work on our position. Yeah, because I teach ballet three and we really work on how we're doing things. We don't care about height. Usually it needs to be lower so we can do the correct position. So that's why we're talking about turnout. Okay, so we know how to do that to the side. We're going to really focus on this in arabesque. We know the side of our big toe needs to be down in uh, tendu. Side of our big toe touches the floor. Keep the same shape of your foot when we lift it up a little bit. So we're going to lift it up a little bit and make sure we're still on the ball of our foot. We're going to be a little bit forward on our standing leg. If we're on our heel, we're not going to be able to go anywhere. Okay, we're just going to do arabesque. So left hand on the bar. First position, we're going to slowly get our arm where it needs to go. First position, as we lengthen our arm, we do tone you back. Our big toe, side of our big toe on the floor. Moving over our arm, reaching for that tree. Okay, forward on the ball of our foot, and slowly lift. Yeah, our heel is still disappearing from the screen. Just a little higher. Forward on the ball of our foot. Reaching. Check your shoulder. And fireworks out of our toes. Taunt you. Close to first. And let's do two new. Outside leg crosses in front. Back to first position. Arms are first. On to reach that air against the air. Shoulder on the ball of our foot. Lift a little bit. Feel the so hidden. Reach a little bit lengthen. And on to close. Go to the other side. Continue. And we get to go back to first. We place our feet back in first. Okay? Challenging. And we finish. Let's squeeze as much as we can. Turn those thighs out. Stay there. Okay. Okay, nice, we did our arabesque. Now we're going to do some releves. We'll really feel our calf muscles. Releve. Okay, we're going to start in sixth position. Remember that, heels and toes together. That's pretty hard, like we have to remember to stay on the big toe. It's really easy to kind of circle. So we want to feel our big toe on the floor just like we do. 
in other positions of relevés, yeah. But it's really easy to go like that. Oof. It's really not good for your pinky toes. Feel your big toe on the floor and the toe next to it when our heels go up and down, okay? We have both hands on the bar. We're going to do a lot of eleve straight up and down. Just our heels will go straight up and down. Releve with an R means you plie and releve, plie, releve. So when I say releve with an R, we're going to plie, releve. Start in sixth position. After we do our eleves and releves, we're going to turn out to first position. Do lots of eleves, just our heels up and down. And then plie, releve. We'll do a few of those because it'll feel really nice to plie a little bit. Okay. Tempo. We're going to let our heels down really nicely. We don't want to plop down on them. So we think of lifting taller when we go down so they're nice and soft to go down. We have both hands on the bar. We're going to go this way. Stretching out. We'll feel it stretching out. Good. And even on days when you don't do a whole class, you can just do those on your own. Do some relevance to stay nice and strong if you're tired of sitting around. So, okay. We are going to get a quick drink of water. I hope you have your water here. If you need to pause it, just take 30 seconds. This is what we do when we have our live classes. Just 30 seconds and then can stretch a little bit. Can do some strengthening things too. Okay. Hopefully we're nice and hot. Hot and sweaty. Okay. I'm gonna move my bar and quickly move the bar. Okay, I'm just going to put some music on in the background. favorite color butterfly. I'm going to turn this way. So really, if you can see yourself from the side, imagine you're against that wall. See how tall you can get. And up, press them down. Do a little um, nap. Nose all the way down. I'll tell us when to come up. Just put your head down. Stretch those legs out. Any arms, you're flying. 
imagine you have a costume that has the wrist right here, an elastic, and the wings are coming down from your wrists. And nose to your knee. Push the back of your knee all the way down to the ground. And we go to our straddle. All right, just gonna go through. And again, really tall. Flex, fingers and toes. Plank, make sure your big toe is way away from the floor. And let's reach over to the side. Just look at the bar. Make sure we're straight side. And side. Make sure both our hip bones are on the floor. There we are. So there, let's reach. Reach farther every time you breathe out. Okay. Again, you can take more time to stretch on your own um, before you do a class or on a day where you're not dancing too much. Okay, one foot in front, the other one in back at a two. And from here, you can also do your splits. Good position to start in. One leg front, dropping your nose. And switch. Left leg bent behind us. We'll feel it in the top of our leg. Head down. We'll do this a lot more in our Zoom class, but just as a preview. Let's do one of these. Lunge forward. Yeah. Knee over our toes. Make sure he doesn't go farther. Lunge. Then go back on this leg. Flex. Stretch your hands straight. We'll do that a few times uh, the next time I see you in class. This really helps uh, prepare for your splits. Don't stretch us out. So bring your hip bone as low as it can go towards the floor. And flex, hamstring stretch. We're still up on that back knee. Really nicely. Okay, just gonna put some faster music on. Actually, you don't have to get up. We're gonna do some more strengthening stuff. We've done the plank a lot. We're also gonna do a couple push ups. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Here we go. Plank. You're going to be all the way back here. Curl your toes under and flat back. Tummy up from the floor. Keep breathing. Every time you breathe, belly button goes more into your back. If you've done this a lot and dance and PE and stuff, and you want to do one foot, put your toes on top of one of your heels. You don't have to. And other foot, just if you're used to doing it a lot. Almost there. And stretch. 
and we've been really working those abdominals, squeezing them in. So, do their cobra. Yeah, stretch your arms straight. Okay. All right. We'll do the easier version with our knees down on the ground. We're going to push up. And down. And stretch your abs. In our other classes too. You can do a lot more this way. You can try also this way if you can. Let's do two more. And stretch it up. Okay, yeah, I did a lot of those yesterday. My arms are very, very sore. You want to do these and some of those push-ups. It'll get your arms really strong, and we'll have really nice supported arms. You'll be strong for a um, few, few years from now if you um, are still doing some dance when heart throwing comes around. Because the guys have to be strong to lift the girls. They do lots of strengthening exercises and to make sure they're leading them around. And the girls have to be really strong, too, because if they lift you, you can't just go oh, up in the air like that and be really, really strong. So that's super fun. Finding. Okay, we're going to do some tondus and adagio. So remember in the center, we feel our balance. Like we feel that we're on the ball of our foot now, on the standing leg. Okay. So we get to do that combination that I was talking about that we did before, four, four, two, two, one, one, plie. We're going to do that um, with tendus and then with degages with no bar. Make sure we don't have our bar right by us. Okay, here we go. Here's the music that we're going to listen to. Here's the tempo. Yeah, this will be for our tonnes. We'll do it faster for Dick Jays. Actually, let's do this one. Here we go. First position. And four. Other leg. Four. Squeeze those thighs. Heel forward. Music, but we're going to change the accent instead of going out and in for Dega Jays, we're going to go in, in, and in, in. Okay, we'll do it once slowly and then we'll do it faster. And in, and in, and in, and in. in, in. We want to make sure we have this a good shape of our leg first. Okay, here we go. Dega J off the floor. And in, and in. And one, and one, and squeeze. The thighs are going to get tired. Two. One. And we plie. Let's do it faster. In, in, in. Switch. Down two. Tired out. 
Okay. Remember what it's called when we dance to slow music? And when we do this, we sometimes do nice arms and we do some balancing or some grand plies. The top one is the French spelling, adage. All right, if you play music, you'll see this on the music, adagio, in slow tempo. Okay. Okay. We're going to do some brown plies. Two brown plies and balance. Two ground plies and balance. We're going to be in first position. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start it out with that. Let me just check. Okay. And then the third time, we're going to do plie releves. Okay. So why don't you follow along with me? I'm going to call it out. I'm going to talk you through it. We're going to start with grand plie. Four counts. Grand plie again. Then we balance in first position like we did at the bar. Then we'll do that again. Then we do plie, releve, plie, releve, plie, releve. Lower, then we'll do another grand plie. Okay, we'll do some nice arms to finish. First position. The first time through, you can be telling yourself, okay, this comes next, this comes next. Try to memorize it. Slide down your wall. Feel down again. Then we balance. Float those arms up, shoulders stay down. Wrong Reach the spinner. Belly button into your back. And two, change your arms, heel down, arms on the are all the way up and around, on the down, reverse. level in ballet today we do lots of preparations and then we do lots of turns as well so remember that rat position call it sur le coup de pied it's a mouthful sur le coup de pied on the neck of the foot so that's our ankle that's where we wrapped it with our heel in front toe and back <laughs> sur le coup de pied on the neck Ku is neck of the foot. Pa is foot. So there are different positions for so the Um There's Ku Pa front, back. We're gonna wrap it just like we did before. Okay. So when we do turns, this is our preparation. So let's work on this preparation. Arms first. Open your opposite arms when you plie. So if our right foot's in front, our opposite arm opens. And wrap. So look at my foot. What did my toe do? My pinky toe shoo, went back first. And my toes are in back and my heel is in front. Yeah? And toe ball heel to come down. First position arms. Plie. Open your opposite arm. 
Bring it in as soon as you grab that foot. And toe ball heel, plie. Stretch. Plie, open your arm. And wrap. Plie, close. We're practicing with me now. Stretch. Plie, open that arm. Pinky toe goes back first. Plie. So then eventually we can susu. Plie. And wrap. And then after we practice that for a long time, we can do it on releve. We have to be over our leg and all that. We're just going to work on our foot today. Wrap position. Arms first. So you open your arm. Pinky toe goes back. Then we come down, toe ball, heel. Instead of just putting your foot down. Then we're going to do the other leg. This position, here we go. Arms first. Plie, open that arm, wrap, plie, stretch, plie, open, wrap, and toe ball heel, stretch, plie, on that steady breathe, tada, stretch, plie, pinky toe goes first, toe ball heel, let's do one a little slower, we're going to stay here, stay there, and toe ball heel. We're going to change tendu and close. Let's do our other foot. Okay, we're going to open that opposite arm. Here we go. First, plie open. Wrap. Toe ball heel. Stretch. Plie. Wrap. So this is when you would be turning. Wrap and turn. Plie. Stretch. Plie. Right. Plie. Let's do one more. We're going to wrap and balance. Stay And toe ball heel finish. And stretch. Good. All right. Okay. We get to do some sautés now. We're going to do relevé three times. Relevé, plié, relevé, plié, relevé, plié, sauté, sauté. Three relevés, two sautés. We get to do that in first and second. Okay? Right? After we do that, put that in your head. Three, three relevés, two sautés, first, second. After we do that, when the music starts again, fifth position, we're going to changement. Yeah, change our feet. Fifth position. We get to plie. Changement, change your feet, stretch, stretch, plie. And change, stretch, stretch, plie. It's going through first position in the air. Yeah, point your toes. And changement, stretch, stretch, plie. And changement. And again, like I always say, try to face this way. Do you look from the side that we're not sticking out our derriere, that we're holding everything in, and that our knees are actually right to the side, but they're not too far forward. Okay, that will be the second part. First, releve three times, two sautés. Since last time, we told me that the music was a bit fast, so it's good that we get to slow it down and work on our pointed toes in the correct way we're doing it. Eventually, we can do it faster. So I won't do the under the sea music. This is, it sounds fast, but we're going to do it a little slower. Okay, so it might not be so fun, but it'll be good for us. And we'll do it properly. Okay, here we go. We get to really push. <laughs> Plie. Now push from your plie. So tick, so tick. Plie. Plie. And jump. So tick, so tick. Try not to rush too much with, you with the music. It's not like you're dancing with the whole group at the same time. Okay. Here's our second position. Knees all the way out to the side. Here we go. Go a little bit. Plie. 
Now, slow check. Point, clear, point, clear. Stretch, stretch, plie, change, stretch, stretch. Change, stretch and stretch. Plie, change your feet. Stretch, stretch, plie, change your feet. Plie, change your feet. Let's do a few more. Plie, straight down and change. Stretch, stretch. Ah. Okay, go try to end in your plie that's just as big as your first plie. We don't want to end in a tiny plie because what if you're going to do like 16 in a row or 32 in a row? As you get up into the advanced levels, you do 32 in a row. So you need to do those big plies like we do at the bar. Okay, I'm out of breath. I hope you are too. Okay. So we've been doing our a pays. We're just going to do two a pays on the ground, two a pays sautés. Yeah, then we're going to add our spring points in there because we've been doing those for the past two weeks. So let's add all those together. I'll show you really fast. Here we go. Yeah, here's our hips. Remember, when we go out, we're not going to bounce. Straight, straight legs. Both feet shoot out to second at the same time. Here are the two a pays. Out, plie fit. Out, plie fit. Saute and close. Saute and close. One more time. Do our feet change every time? Yes, every time on both kinds of Asian pace. Asian pace, change your feet. Asian pace, change your feet. Saute, change your feet. Saute, change your feet. Yeah? We'll do that again. And then we'll do our spring point. Yeah? Heel high, 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 high. Yeah? And we know to turn that leg out when we do plie back there. Okay, so it looks nice and easy. People are doing it on stage. You get to make it look that nice. Okay. We will try under the sink for this one. Okay, let's try that. Seven, eight, stretch, plie, stretch, plie, and open, plie, open, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, plie, and spring point, three, four, five, six, seven, let's have our arms out, just feel high, and a shape, so tight, and open, and close, point, open, and close, stretch, stretch, Straight point. Heel high. Knee out on that baby leg. And we finish. Let's tendu. Bow. Curtsy. Big toe on the floor. We do a curtsy. Tendu. Bow or curtsy. Let me say thank you to you all for dancing with me. Alright. Thank you all for doing this class with me. And um, I'll either see you on Zoom or I'll see you in the near future. Alright, enjoy the nice weather. Bye for now.